Good Monday morning to everyone. How are you? How's your mom? How's your girlfriend? How's your mistress? How's your best friend? How's your cat? How's your dog? What'd you eat today? I really do wish I could talk to all of you guys about all this shit, but I can only do so much. I'm talking to a lot of you, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm just now drinking coffee. I'm recording this late. It's almost noon. I'm pissed off. Because, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but a big tire from the front of a big truck flew off at like 30, 40 miles an hour and hit me recently while I was driving and did a number on my car and, uh, my Jeep. And so I had to take it in today. Insurance is all worked out with the truck and all of that. But anyway, I thought I'd be real cool and do all of my errands and go to the auto body shop and the rental car place and all that shit without having coffee first. Um, cause I thought that'll be a nice treat at the end. Like that got me out of the house and on doing my chores for the day before I got to work in my studio and do the podcast and all that good stuff. And it took about four times longer than it should have. So I'm just sitting here. Like, I'm about to hit pause on this record button so that I can drink, like, down at least half of this coffee. Um, Anyway, and while I was out and about, I have seen, you know, I was only gone for, what, three, four hours. I have seen three women, adult women, scratch their private parts in public today. (laughs) And all of them did so with gusto, just going for it. Like, without no shame in their game, man, they were going crazy. And I don't know how the hell that's possible, because that's not something you see just all the time. It must have been that part of town. Something was going on, getting everyone (laughs) agitated. Wow, I didn't plan on telling you guys that. All right, so today I'm going to be reading H.D., Uh, American poet, she was born in 1886, died in 1961. Fascinating life. Read about her. Um, I recommend buying her collected poems if you want to, if you want to explore her more. Uh, I I don't want to get into why she's so incredible, but I I just want to read you one of my favorites of hers called The Wind Sleepers. Wider than the crust left by the tide. We are stung by the hurled sand and the broken shells. We no longer sleep in the wind. We awoke and fled through the city gate. Tear, tear us an altar. Tug at the cliff boulders. Pile them with the rough stones. We no longer sleep in the wind. Propitiate us. Chant in a wail that never halts. Pace a circle and pay tribute with a song. When the roar of a dropped wave breaks into it, pour meted words of seahawks and gull sand seabirds that cry discords. She had me at discord. Well, really, she had me at whiter. I didn't know how to pronounce that. White, it's, it's white as in the color, but when I say whiter, it sounds like whiter, but if I say whiter, I sound like an asshole. Oh, these are the things we deal with here at at me reading stuff. Um, You guys, I am going to cut this one real short. I feel like I've been a lot too Gabby, a lot too loquacious. I'm about to stick Six Pack, the movie Six Pack starring Kenny Rogers. He's a race car driver. I'm going to stick that in. And that's what I'm going to work to today. Today. Uh, It also stars, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. If you're attracted to women, uh, Diane Lane in this movie is maybe the hottest lady ever. I mean, there are other hot ladies. I guess there's a long list, but she's up there. Um, And it's an excuse for me to listen to Rocky Top Tennessee. Those kids on the kids, there's a six pack is a set of children that Kenny Rogers comes into contact with. And they all have their own special talents. Uh, some of them are aspiring doctors. Some of them um, just have a real nice mouth on them. Not like pretty mouth, like in a gross way. <laughs> the, the one I like the most, he cusses all the time. I like him. But, and then this other one is a good musician, and he sings Rocky Top. And as a kid, I used to love that song uh, because of that movie. So Rocky Top, Tennessee, that's what I'm going to be listening to. 
That's it, you guys. Please. Um, I've disappeared from iTunes altogether in the rate. I've been in the top section of being rated highly in literature, and no one's doing giving me any love over there. So I have dropped entirely out of the game, and that makes me, to be honest, really sad. Uh, I'm nowhere to be found uh, anymore. So if you feel like it, if you're enjoying this, if you're listening, I know I have over 500 downloads a day. So there are someone, someone's listening to this shit. And uh, if you can, just give me a rating on iTunes. That would be so nice. And if you have anything to say to me, hit me up. Instagram, Twitter, it's R-O-B-Y-N underscore O-N-E-I-L. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Please buy HD's Collected Poems, and I'll talk to you on Thursday. Ooh, ooh, wait, I want to sing you out even though I have a horrible voice. Okay, how does it go? Once two strangers climbed over rocky top looking for a moonshine still. Strangers ain't come down from rocky top, reckon they never will. Thank you, good night. <laughs>